Hey guys, it's the Wargamer here bringing you a new video tutorial on how to install and use the Peace GUI for Equalizer APO. Alright, so first things first, you already want to go ahead and install the Equalizer APO. If you've yet to do that, click on the little i card right there and it's going to show you step by step on how to install the Equalizer APO and set it up properly. Once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and download and install the Peace Equalizer. Now, if you get to do that, go ahead and click on the link in the description below, and it's going to show you how to do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just open up here real quick, uh, Peace Equalizer APO, then go to their SourceForge. You want to go ahead and hit the download button there. Once you got the download button done, you want to go ahead and close out of it and have the little thing on your desktop. In this case, I am using Shortcut. So once you have that going for you, you want to go ahead and find your Equalizer APO file on your computer. In my case, I have to go to this computer, local pro, uh, local disk, C, program files, Equalizer, APO, and then um, config. Once you've done that, you want to drag and drop the piece Equalizer into the config file. And then after you create a shortcut to your desktop, you can close out of it. And then, let's go ahead and just close this out so you can see what it looks like to begin with. Uh, you want to double click on it, it's going to do a whole bunch of things, and you're going to be presented with these two things. I recommend using the full interface, however the simple interface is perfectly fine too. The only difference is you can't toggle on and off, which I'm going to demonstrate in this video here what the difference between the two microphones are. But essentially, uh, once you have it open here, you want to go ahead and mess around with it. Um, I recommend that according to my previous video, is you don't have it set to edit the audio to your headset, just your microphone. That way, when you go ahead and use your favorite editing software, you don't actually hear the double edited audio, which is not good at all. You end up, in my case, I would hear a whole lot of bass, a whole lot of high, and very little to no low. So after you got that gun done going for you, uh, you want to go ahead and actually this new thing is actually included. It's called prevent uh, peak value meter. It's to prevent clipping. It's really useful because now you can actually increase the preamplification. Of the audio and by the way preamplification is a boosted of audio before before editing of the actual you know the wave of your voice which is really cool so I recommend for guys you go ahead and click on the bass and high boost and then um, I already did an edit of that just now but for females um, it's really hard to say because I don't have my sister here she'd be a prime example of how to edit her voice because she's female she's actually alto slash soprano voice it, it varies from person to person but other than that you want to go ahead and do that and here's a little um a little sample of between off which is the standard and on which is what i prefer to have and there's some really cool things you can do with this too like let's say you want to sound like you're on the radio boom you're on the radio it's that easy it, it sounds really it sounds interesting to say the least so i mean i'm gonna go back to my boost or my, my bass and high boost because I like that a lot and I also edit it myself and once you're done you do that you can either click to trade or done I'm gonna click done because that's it because this is on the system level system level means that there is no running of the program ever again it's already running it starts up with your system as a standard thing it's done that's it there's nothing more to it it's cool it's awesome and yeah I like it a lot so if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. And let me know in the comments below if you want to know something more about this. I'll go ahead and do another update video on based upon your comments below. Also, little tidbit here. I was using OBS to record this. Yes. So OBS is... Let me put my thing down there. Cool. So OBS is a program that allows you to stream as well as record. Um, I'm using this a little bit differently from what I normally use, which is Playclaw 5 just for desktop reasons but let me know in the comments below also on how the quality is the video compared to my previous videos uh, that'd be much appreciated other than that this has been the wargamer signing out hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time